All right, today we're going to talk about these four concepts, motor torque, counter torque, load and speed, and how they relate to each other within a motor circuit here. So as you can see, started with a definition of torque, which is a rotational force. We have the formula for torque, force times radius, and the unit for torque, newton meter. I have a little simple drawing here of a motor, and this is a conveyor belt attached to my motor, and that'll help me represent load, and we can kind of see how all these things relate. So first of all, let's start with a motor. What is a motor? It changes electrical energy, works some magic here into mechanical energy. I have an arrow drawn here for the motor torque, which in this case is in a counterclockwise direction. So let's just label that. So that's torque of our motor in a counterclockwise direction. And as you can see, it's pushing this conveyor belt along and the conveyor belt is going in this direction too. So this also represents the torque of my motor. Now, I'm gonna add some load to the conveyor belt. And let's see what happens. So when we add load, now load has different meanings. In this case, it's a physical weight. And it also, in this case, when we add load, when it goes up, that's the same thing as counter torque. So here's our torque counter. So load is a counter torque on this motor. So as load goes up, this counter torque goes up. So there is a reaction that happens. When I put more bricks in this case on the motor, that's the load going up, which gives me a counter torque. And the counter torque is just torque in the opposite direction of the motor torque. So here's our torque counter direction. And here it is over here. So we have our counter torque going in the opposite direction of the motor torque. And that's caused from the load in this case. That is going to affect our speed. And the speed of the motor is going to go down. And when the speed of the motor goes down, that is going to affect the torque of the motor. And the torque of the motor is going to go up. So, let's look at this daisy chain again. <clears throat> let's start with load. As load goes up, the counter torque goes up, so that's a torque against the motor torque, which brings down the speed of the motor, and when the speed of the motor goes down, the torque of the motor goes up. What ends up happening is when the torque of the motor equals the counter torque, the speed stabilizes. So then the speed is constant. If the motor torque is higher than the counter torque, this motor will speed up. If the counter torque is higher than the motor torque, then the motor will slow down. But what happens, the speed is also going to change the torque of the motor. So in this case, we'll start over again. As the load goes up, the counter torque goes up because they're the same thing. Then the speed of the motor is going to slow down. When the speed of the motor slows down, the torque of the motor goes up. And as the torque of the motor goes up to match the counter torque, when they are even, the speed will stabilize or the speed now will be a new constant. It'll be lower than it was, but it will remain constant. So let's try that one more time. Let's say we have this motor, we start it, it's at a constant speed, whatever that speed is. I put some more load on it, in this case bricks, 
the load goes up, which means the counter torque goes up, which will then affect the speed of the motor, because the counter torque right now is higher than the motor torque. So what's going to happen is the motor is going to slow down. When the motor slows down, the torque of the motor goes up. When the torque of the motor reaches the counter torque, then the speed is constant. Now, the speed will be slower than what it was, but it will remain at a constant speed. So I hope that sorts out the relationship between motor torque, counter torque, load, and speed.